Well, good morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm about to go to Starbucks and get me a few shots of espresso over ice for breakfast. And then I'm gonna add in some collagen and a Premier Protein. That's usually what I have for breakfast. I measure in or weigh in every Thursday and I'm down 2.8 pounds for the week, which is a win. For now I'm at 31 points for the day, as well as I do have a lot of free foods that I continue to right use. Right now, I'm just gonna uh, get myself together, get in the car, go get my Starbucks, and then figure out what the exercise plan is so I can get it out of the way for the day. All right, let's go. Okay, you guys, so I finally made it to Starbucks and I got my three shots of espresso in a venti cup. And this breakfast is gonna be a total of two points. So I have my collagen peptides that I put in a plastic bag and carry with me before I head out for the day as well. And those are zero points, as well as the espresso shots are zero points. So the only thing that I really have to count as far as points are concerned is my Premier Protein Shake. And I add that in. Um, right now I'm using the cookie and cream flavor. My favorite is the latte flavor by Premier Protein. But the other day I got my hands on some Fair Life Protein Shakes and I think I like those even better. So I'm gonna use up what I have for a breakfast of two points. I really like this angle too. Like this is the move, even though I'm holding it. So you see my collagen floating in there. I kind of like to stir it around. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to get this down before I get to, I'm still parked, let me put my seatbelt on. Before I get to take a hike. Try to get it down, cause God knows how long I'm gonna be out there. I mean, cause who knows how long I'm gonna be out there. I seem to do good when um, I'm just, out. the police are right there and I keep thinking like, am I supposed to be on my camera when the um, police are right there? But I'm not driving, I'm parked. making my protein coffee um so anyway i'm also going to try to down this water so i can stay extra hydrated while i'm out here because sometimes i've been known to get out on the trails and i'm out for like an hour and a half an hour not even thinking about it which is what i enjoy because it's like exercise without thought instead of walking on a trail or a track which i have done that too um, but when I walk on the track, I'm like counting the laps until it's over. I try to get to two miles and I'm done. But for some reason, I can get to like three, four miles walking out there on the trails because I don't even think about it. I'm just enjoying nature. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. Let me get to the trails before it starts getting too hot. Bye. Morning. Oh, slow that in the dash, please. Oh, sure. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. The craziest part about this whole thing is I used to be afraid deathly afraid of trees. I grew up in um, California and when I moved here to Georgia, trees like this freaked me out. <laughs> I used to be thinking like, the only trees I had reference to that were like this were in movies where like a body would be laying in the trees and all someone walked past the trees and saw like a hand hanging out of the trees. Yeah, uh, I wasn't about that life. I used to be so afraid and now I love it. I'm actually about to go in a trail that leads up in the trees, dirt path. So I put on my nasty tennis shoes that I don't mind if they get dirty and I'm gonna go for a walk. So this is the start of the trail.
it's about 11 o'clock now. I just got done with my walk. I'm super sweaty. I'm about to go home, take a shower, and uh, do a little bit of cleaning up, and then I'll get back with you guys when it's time to make lunch. Yeah, on the way home. It's about 11.50, and I'm going to eat this plum. Growing up in California, I ate red plums like fre fresh picked off a tree, like every day in the summer zero point food and whenever I feel like I just need a little something to pick me up I gravitate towards plums or fruit especially summer fruits I love them it's about um 157 now and I want to make some lunch I'm thinking I'm going to do um chicken fajita pitas I used to love jack-in-the-box chicken fajita pitas and when I moved here to Georgia they don't have a jack-in-the-box poor me so anytime I go back to California, I always get it. And now that I have some low calorie, low calorie, low calorie, low carb bread options for a pita, it works really good on um, the WW plan. And so I pretty much use some chicken breast. Now I pre-season the chicken breast and I usually leave it for a few hours to marinate um, just in seasoning. I don't use any like Italian dressing or anything like that, just seasoning that I like and then I kind of pan sear it with some Pam and then I put lettuce, tomato, jalapenos. Once in a blue moon I put some cheese but it's really not even needed and I also use salsa. The other key ingredient is grilled onions. So um, I'll show you how I put it all together. I start by chopping up some lettuce and tomato and onion. And then I get all my side ingredients ready. I'm using this Kroger picante sauce and some sliced jalapenos. I'm also using the Joseph's pita bread, which is only one point on the blue plan. I'm chopping up my chicken that I had already pre-seasoned earlier today and grilling that with the onions in the skillet. I put a lid on it so it can kind of cook a little faster. And while that's still browning, I then spray another pan to warm up the pita bread. It just gives it a little more texture, a little more flavor to have it warmed up. And when the chicken and onions are done, I just put it on. I think I really overfilled this, but you know, the chicken, the onions, the lettuce, the tomato, the picante sauce and the jalapenos, all of those are zero points. So this ends up being a one point lunch. I'll bless a jar with water and I'm gonna try something different. This LaCroix sparkling water and lime and I'm gonna mix it with one of these sugar-free um, Hawaiian punch mixes. I've been having a difficult time getting my water in for the day. I don't know what it is. I don't feel like it. And I saw a video here on YouTube. I think it's called D&G. They're like a 17 year old couple. They're so cute. And um, they did a taste test of all these different types of sugar-free add-ins or mix-ins. And I thought, I want to do that video with my son, so that's probably going to be coming soon on my channel as well. But um, I think I'm going to try to mix them in with sparkling water. And that way, maybe it'll feel more like a soda, even though I don't really drink sodas. I feel like at least it'll make me feel like I'm not drinking water all the time, you know? So I'm going to mix in one of these. Looks pretty good. There we go. I really need to get the liquid drops for this one because let's see. Yeah. You like my stir? <laughs> There's still some floaty pieces at the bottom, but I think, see, but I think. It will trick you into believing you're drinking soda. So, um, I got a lot of different ones today. So I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna have my son do it with me. Anyway. Bon. This is so good. It tastes like um, a chicken fajita pita from Jack in the Box. So,
And that sparkling water with the mix in makes me drink water. It's also turning my lips red. But anyway, um, it's really good. So I'm gonna eat lunch. Okay, so I am gonna make some banana bread with chocolate chips and walnuts. Like I said, sometimes I'll eat a lower calorie lunch or a lower point lunch and breakfast so that I can have the dinner I want or so that I can have the dessert that I want or so on and so forth, right? So sometimes I'll have a large breakfast because breakfast actually is my favorite meal of the day. I love like bacon, hash browns, eggs, like an omelet or something like, I love that. But um, I will forego that, I'm trying to stand in front of the light. I will forego that um, if I know that I'm gonna be making something. My daughter had asked me yesterday if I would be making some banana nut bread today and we put chocolate chips in it so it's quite sweet. And I put it in the recipe calculator. Let's just see how many servings I can get out of it. Let's start there. Um, I said 12 at first, but I bought some loaf pans I'm gonna make one of them with nuts and one of them without nuts because my son doesn't really like nuts and um, see how many slices we can get out of it instead of, I was I used to cook it in like a nine by nine and I would just cut it into squares. Um, so if I get more than 12 servings, it should be less than 12 points. I'm hoping I can get it down to about eight points. That's my goal. Um, but for right now, I'm going to make the recipe and then we'll see how much I can have regardless at the end. What you need to do first is preheat your oven to 350. So while you're putting everything together, it could be preheating. Um, I kind of already started because I got to have a tripod to do this. So disregard my drink. I'm still working on that. Just got done with lunch. I bought these loaf pans so I can try to... Um, do one with nuts, one without nuts. That's why I bought those. Plus they have a lid for storage, which I really like. It's like this, um, so that we can kind of try to store it. Um, you need a cup of sugar, is what you typically need, but I don't have any sugar, so I'm going with brown sugar. We're just gonna see what happens. You need a fourth a cup of sour cream. You need a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. You're also gonna need some uh, vanilla extract, which I use this kind. You're gonna need some spray to put in your pans. You need uh, one whole stick of butter. You need some all-purpose flour. You need one egg and one egg yolk. And then you need three ripe bananas. As you can see, mine are very ripe. Um, and then I'm gonna put in some Ghirardelli semi-sweet chocolate chips and also some uh, walnut. All right, so you need two separate mixing bowls, one for wet ingredients, which I usually use the bigger one for that, and a smaller one for the dry ingredients. You also need a spatula so you don't stir it too aggressively. And you also need a fork. So let me get that. So your first step's gonna be to mash all the bananas. All right, like that. And you're gonna combine the cup of sugar, the sour cream, the butter. And the eggs. Now the eggs, you want one whole egg and one egg yolk. So let me crack this one over this time. So I don't know how to get an egg yolk. So you just need the yolk of one. I put it in the recipe builder as two eggs, but you really only need the yolk. All right, so these are all your wet ingredients. Oh, and then you need some vanilla. This is a teaspoon, but I just kind of eyeball it. That's it on that. We're gonna sit that one to the side and work on the dry ingredients. Three things, which is the baking soda, the kosher salt, two cups of flour. Two. Two cups of flour. Just gonna whisk it around. You just want all the ingredients to be, oops, all the ingredients to be incorporated together is when you put the flour in, just put a little bit at a time, like maybe half, and then fold it in. This is where your over mixing can really mess up your bread. So just fold, fold, go around the sides, kind of go on the bottom, fold. Fold it in and you need like a rubber spatula to really to get a good job of it. Get it all in there. 
once it gets to about this point, you still see some flour, but it's pretty incorporated. Then you put in the other part of the flour mixture. Well, not too much aggressive stirring though. As soon as it's incorporated and the flour is gone, which is about to be in a few seconds, then it's done. Don't over stir it because it'll mess up. All right, just like that. So that's our batter. All right, so the half, the recipe calls for a half a cup of chocolate chips and a half a cup of walnuts. But since I'm only putting it in half the dough, I'm gonna put about a fourth a cup of walnuts. But first I'll put the chocolate chips, separate the dough. So there's a half a cup of the Ghirardelli. I'm using these Ghirardellis. Put that in here. Stir that up. All right, not too much stirring. Take one of these pans, spray it with pan. Just using the olive oil pan. I'm gonna put half of it in here. So let's see. go about this much. About that much. And I'm gonna sprinkle chocolate chips on top just so we'll know what's in this one versus what's in the other one. So it looks like this. All right, so that's one. I'm gonna spray the pan generously about a fourth of a cup of walnuts. And then on this one, the same thing. I'm gonna put some chocolate chips on top. Not too many. I'll put those back. And then I'm gonna put some walnuts on top. I guess that can account for the other fourth of a cup. I'll put some of those on top. Might be too much. Okay, there. Both of them are ready to go to the oven and they bake for 50 minutes. Might only be like 40 minutes because they're smaller divided out loaves, but um, typically I cook them for about 50 minutes. That's what they look like going in. We'll see what they look like coming out. Well, I figured um, while the bread was baking, I'd go ahead and do something with my nails. My sister, she's totally into like dip nails ever since coronavirus came and she gave me some colors and products that I could use to do it myself and I've been doing it. And I had like a really good set going on here for about a good week. So every week I try to do them and now this happened. I don't even know if you can see it, but a whole freaking piece fell off of that nail. Like, really? What are we doing? So, um, and I fear that the other little piece is gonna tear off my nail. So, today's the day. She's brought me so many colors and she brought me this color so you'll see what color my nails are gonna be now. Um, and it takes me about 30 minutes to get them done and I think that's about how much longer I have before I have to check on the bread. So, I'm gonna start on that process next. Uh, I have a pot, I mean a pot, a bowl of bo boiling water. Girl, let me tell y'all something. I was about to say girl, but it's not girl. It's whoever's watching, girl guy. <laughs> There's this uh, trick about getting this gel off of your nails and it is about, you need acetone like this, pure acetone, which I'm like at the dollar at the beauty supply, but you need this. And then you need a bowl of boiling water. So this is like steam coming off of this. And you need a bag, a Ziploc bag with a piece of paper towel in it. That's a piece of paper towel in it. I don't even know if you can see it's so bright. And then you put the acetone in the bag. You only need a small amount, like about this much in the bag. Then you put the bag in the water. You don't let water get in the bag. And you stick your finger down in there. Now, if the water's too hot, don't make it too hot. So you stick the baggie with the fluid in it down into the water and you stick your hand down in the Ziploc bag. You put it down inside the water and then you use the paper towel to kind of like massage it off. So I'm gonna be working on this process and getting these nails off. And then I use this type of cuticle remo remover, get rid of the cuticles. And then I start with the whole dip process which there's plenty of tutorials, I'm sure if you guys wanna watch that, but that's what I'm gonna be doing until the bread is done. So I'll see you guys when the bread beeps. All right. Okay, one fun fact about me, I am petrified of bugs. 
Like I don't like bugs at all. So my house, I get exterminated every three months. So I don't have to deal with bugs and they still find their way around me. <laughs> if they're outdoors, I don't necessarily like, yeah, I'm not so irritated because I'm like, well, they live outdoors, you know? And all living things need a home, right? As I'm sitting here doing my nails, on the window is this huge bug staring at me. I swear he came from a bug's life. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. He came straight out of a bug's life. Look at this bug. Why is he so freaking big? Right outside my window. But luckily he's outside. My sister was using this kit right here. Excuse the dirty box, but anyway, it was the Kiss Nail Salon dip color system. And she gave me like three colors. There. So it's like, I clipped my nails too because they were just too long for work. So it's like when you're polishing it, you just want to put like a thin coat. Uh, it's hard to kind of, I know you can't see it on camera, but you're putting like a really thin coat of the base. And then you just dip it in here. And just dip it upside down. And then kind of tap off the excess. That's why there's so much around my finger and it looks like this. Chocolate chips. That's my noisy cat. Say hi, Gingy. Say hi. So, I didn't get a chance to finish my nails yet, but who doesn't stop for a banana bread break? So good. I've tried, wait. I've tried a few banana bread recipes. Why did this cat just jump up here? Gingy, get down, get down. So I've tried a few um, banana bread recipes. I think this one happens to be my favorite. She's begging. Cat's big, right? Cause I know for sure mine does. As soon as something comes out the oven or we get done cooking something, she wants a bite. I ended up cutting each loaf into eight pieces. So on the recipe calculator, which I'll try to put to the side of me, um, with all the ingredients, it only came out to nine points per slice. So I adjusted my daily points to nine for this bread. Totally worth it. And I know if you have a lot less points, it might not you know, seem like it, but for me, it's worth it. I'll have a one point lunch so I can have a nine point piece of bread. You know, it's like balance. We need balance in our lives. <laughs> so um, in a minute, I'm gonna get started on dinner. It's already, I think like, what time is it? Let's just go look ourselves. My kids just don't respond. Hold on. So it's 4.06. I'm going to finish my nails. This is the color, but they still need to be filed and shaped. I might get a nap in. I'm getting kind of tired actually, but I need to get dinner started um, because it has to bake in the oven as well. Tonight we're having barbecue, spicy barbecue meatloaf, uh, baked potatoes, and some kind of vegetable, I don't know. I'll have to figure that part out. Matter of fact, oh, the other thing is I've only gotten in two bottles of water. I told you my water, oh my God, it's a struggle. I'm on the struggle bus with the water. I don't know why, it's crazy. Like when I was young, all I drank was water. And now that I've gotten older, all I wanna drink is coffee, honestly. Iced coffee to be exact with a little bit of half and half and some Splenda. But I have to have some water intake, so I, limit my coffee to the mornings during the week and on, or actually on the weekends, but on my work days, I have a cup in the morning and a cup in the afternoon. It's a bit ridiculous. I got to cut back on the caffeine. And um, 
it's like difficult for me to get water in. If you guys have any ideas, I said I tried the sugar-free sweeteners, but I think because, or like, you know, liquid packs that I was showing you earlier, but I think because I've never drank flavored drinks with meals or like just throughout the day, I never drank like sodas growing up, anything like that. It's really hard for me to have such a sweet tasting drink. So water is my drink of choice. It's just, I don't wanna drink eight glasses a day. And that's probably still not even enough for what I'm supposed to be doing at my size. Um, I downed a bottle of water this morning before I got started walking. And I find that if I can get a bottle in before I start my day, I'm off to a good start. You know, that's already a win, 16 ounces down. And when I got back from the walk, I was so thirsty that I drank another 16. So I'm halfway there, but I still have two more waters to go. You think after that banana bread, I'd be ready for a bottle of water, but um, I'm ready for a nap. Okay, how about this? I'll down a water another 16, that'll make it 48, and then take a nap. That's a plan. It's called negotiating with yourself, you know? Sometimes you gotta do it. All right, I'll see you guys at dinner. Here's the end result of my nails. Ow. Super simple recipe for the meatloaf. I'm using 93% lean ground beef, as well as a fourth a cup of uh, quick oats, some chopped onions, as well as a can of Rotel tomatoes, and then salt and pepper to taste. When it's all combined, you put it in a loaf pan, and then you bake it at 375 for about 40 minutes. And when I put it in the recipe builder, it came out to be five points for a quarter of the loaf. This is the barbecue sauce that I use at zero points. It's um, Jihu sugar-free barbecue sauce. I use the sweet and spicy one. This is all that's left of the meatloaf and it's about a fourth of the pan. There's three of us, me and my two kids. So I'll be putting this up for another meal. This is the vegetable I decided to go with, which is zero points. And that's what we'll be having tonight. So here's my dinner plate. I had a baked potato with sour cream and butter, as well as the canned vegetables, and then uh, serving a fourth of the pan of the barbecue meatloaf. Nobody was a fan of the vegetables. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the vlog. Um, for dessert, I do usually save a few points for that, which I have some points left. I'll put my points rolling on the side of the screen what I had all day, but I think I ended with a couple of points left to spare. I usually save room for one of these Fat Boy Juniors. They are five points and it is literally about five bites, but it tastes so good and it's real ice cream that I love it. And so I think I'm mainly exercising portion control over like all the low fat substitutions, you know? Um, but it seems to be working, so I'm okay with it. If you made it this far, all the way to the end, thank you for coming along for my day today. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment because it helps my video to be suggested to other people who might also need the encouragement along their path. And um, I do wanna put one comment of the day that really inspired me. I said I was gonna start incorporating that in, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that now. And if you'd like to be considered for the comment of the day in the next video, leave a comment down below. All right, you guys take care, bye.